Jerry at Fair Oaks. Well, Mr. Randall, how do you like Fair Oaks, now that you've had a little better look at it than you did the last time? It's great, Major, great. Couldn't want a better place to send a boy. Well, I never dreamed that this much spirit could be worked up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Randall, it doesn't take very much to get a group of boys worked up to something like this. They take their competition seriously. I'll bet they do. Uh, Major, uh, seriously, what do you think of Fair Oaks' chances today? Well, I don't like to say, Mr. Randall. I'd like to be pretty confident about the whole thing, but, uh, well, uh... You mean, uh, Jerry, don't you? No, I don't mean Jerry. I have as much confidence and faith in him as you have. Since he's been here at Fair Oaks, he's proved himself to us in more ways than one. Uh, what I mean is that he's on a strange horse. He's had only one practice session on a pretty high-strung mount. Mm, I see. Uh, there was no other horse, huh? We couldn't very well put a plotter out there, could we? No, no, of course not. It wouldn't look so good, would it? Well... I beg your pardon, Major Davis. Oh, yes, yes, Audley. It's ten minutes to go, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Randall. Yeah? I've got to make a little speech now. And if you wish, you may come along to the officer's box and watch the meat from there. Well, sir, I'd like to, but uh, I think I'll stay here with Bumps. Uh, well, I don't see him. Well... <laughs> I think Bumps is on a busman's holiday, Major. A busman's holiday? Yeah, Bumps is over there filling himself up with popcorn and strawberry <laughs> pop. <laughs> he never touches it on the circus grounds. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, sorry you won't come along, Mr. Randall. Uh, thanks just the same, but I, I think I'll stay here. Well, if you change your mind, though, come right ahead. There's always room for a couple more. Thank you, Major. Thank you. Uh, where's the plaque orderly? In the officer's box, sir. Uh, good. This way, sir. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Attention. Attention, please. Attention. Thank you. First, I want to welcome the staff and cadets of Edson Military Institute to Fair Oaks. To you, we extend the hospitality of this entire academy. It makes us feel good when in a world of trouble, we two schools can get together this way, in competition that breeds no discontent or enmity, but instead instills the spirit of sportsmanship and fair play into the hearts and souls of each of us. Whichever of us loses, we lose to a better man, and we admit it without rancor, with no holding of a grudge. In my hand, I hold the symbol of that sportsmanship, the Hunter Craig Trophy. For four years, this trophy has been the prize in this traditional meet between Edson and Fair Oaks. Each school has won it twice. Each school has won it through hard, clean sport. The fifth year, this year, is the last year the Hunter Craig Trophy will be put up. Because the winner of today's meet will keep it forever. How do you feel, Jerry? Well, a little like the bottom of my stomach just isn't there anymore, Lee. Yeah, I know the feeling exactly. I've had it a few times. Yeah? What'd you do about it? Nothing. There's nothing to do. 
Gosh, I hope that horse isn't as nervous as I am. Oh, don't worry about the horse. But I only had a half day's practice on him, Lee, and, well, he's not exactly the gentlest horse in the world. Yeah, I know. What was all that cheering for a minute ago? Oh, Major Davis was making the opening speech. Opening speech? Mm -hmm. Then it's almost time to go. Mm, Yeah. Now listen, Jerry, take it easy. Just remember that each cadet in Fair Oaks will be pulling for you and the rest of the team just as hard as he can. Yeah, and each cadet at Edson will be pulling for us to lose just as hard as he can. Well, you're not supposed to listen to their yells. Just listen to ours. Sure, I'll plug one ear up with cotton and keep it turned to the Edson side. (laughs) That's the talk. When you can joke, you're not so badly off. I read something once. I think it was in English class. It went something like this. No fairer day was there in all the passing ages of the earth than the day he was to die. Who's going to die? Well, maybe I'm not, but I feel like it. (laughs) Lee, I'm afraid to look. Just take a peep and see if my stomach is still in its usual place. (laughs) Right where it always was. Oh, here comes Sergeant Alden. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, and in dress uniform, too. And look at the ribbons on his tunic. Yeah, campaign ribbon. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Sergeant. Sergeant. What are you doing here, Lee? Why, I just thought I'd come out and say... Uh, Sergeant Alden, I I asked Lee to stay with me until we went on the field. Oh, Mm -hmm. It's all right, isn't it, sir? Well, yes, it's all right. How are you feeling, Jerry? Just like I've never had anything to eat in my life. A little (laughs) sinking feeling, huh? Not a little one, sir. A big one. Well, if it's any comfort to you, all the rest of the team feel the same way. (laughs) See, Jerry, I told you. Try taking a few deep breaths slowly. Exhale and see if that doesn't help. Yes, sir. Well, I'll see you in a minute. I've got to check up a little more. Oh, before you go, sir, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead. How... how splendor, sir? He... uh, he's about the same, Jerry. Gee, he's getting good care, isn't he, sir? The best. Now, don't let that affect you, Jerry. You've got one thing to think about when you get on that field. Only one horse to think about, the one you're on. Remember that. Yes, sir. Be ready to mount when the command is given. Yes, sir. Take a couple of deep breaths. Huh? I'm trying to take a couple of deep breaths, but they won't go down all the way. (laughs) There's something stuck in my throat. I think it's my heart. (laughs) For the love of Mike, Jerry, you're not going out there to be shot. You're going out there to ride in a meet. You think I could trade it for being shot? (laughs) Oh, look, what's any different about doing this than doing your act in the circus? Oh, there's a lot of difference, Lee. I can't exactly explain it, but there's plenty. I never felt this way before. Gosh, you all... Shh. Men, I'm not going to say anything to you. You've practiced, you've drilled until I think you're a fine team. Keep your eyes on the pivot position for lining up. If at any time you lose sight of the pivot horse, just remember that Dugan will be carrying the gold pennant. The rest will be blue. Oh, golly. In three minutes, we go out on the field. This evening, we'll put up the Hunter Craig Trophy in Custer's Hall. That's the spirit. Now, toot, hands, hunt. Toot, mount. Okay, up you go, Jerry. Yeah. Well, here I am. And I must say, Cadet Dugan, that you're a fine sight. Or am I looking at the horse? (laughs) Hiya, Tubby. Hi, Tubby. Gee, the team looks swell. Here's your pen and Jerry. Oh, thanks. Oh, boy, oh, boy, is this a grand sight. Take a look, Jerry. The horse's coat shining and the pennants flying. Yeah, you'll all look swell out on the field. Yeah, I wonder why the sergeant had us mount three minutes before time. Oh, well, to give you a chance to calm the horses and get settled a little. Yeah, I'll be settled in four or five days. Oh. oh. What's the matter, Tubby? Look. Uh-oh. Comes now a large dose of poison named Red Morrison. You know, that guy's like poison ivy. He turns up all over. Yeah. I wonder what he wants. Oh, we'll soon find out. Hello, Philip. Hiya, Dugan. And Mr. Tubby Young. Hello, Morrison. Mr. Morrison to you, Young. What do you want, Red? Nothing. Nothing at all. Can a fellow cadet come out to wish his comrades a little good luck? Mm-hmm. A little good luck is your wishing limit. Pipe down, Phillips. What are you, the official guardian of the team? No, no, I'm hitching post for the horses. <laughs> You're wiser than usual, Phillips. Someday I'll have to take a little of that out of you. Okay. Someday when you feel very, very good, I'll uh, play you a game of tiddlywinks. And then when you feel extra hot, well, maybe I'll take you on a checker. <laughs> very, very <laughs> smart, Cleve Phillips. Well, Dugan, ignoring this comedian for a minute, I came out to wish you good luck. Huh? Oh, well, uh, thanks, Red. What's the matter with you, Morrison? Sick? Yeah, sick of you. <laughs> Say, Dugan. Yeah? Blue Comet is a little hard to handle, isn't he? Why... No. He looks nervous. He's got a kind of wild look in his eye. You better be careful. Cut it out, Red. That's what I say. What are you trying to do? You know, it's one thing to ride a horse you're sure of, like Splendor. 
And it's another thing to ride a strange horse when the going gets tough. That's when to prove you're a real horseman and not just a phony. Anybody could stick on Splendor. Yeah, if somebody didn't loosen the cinch strap. Red, I'm warning you. Okay, put up a red light and stand over there where I can see you. I'm talking to Dugan. Yeah, and how? You're trying to get him nervous. A good horseman shouldn't be nervous. Oh, for their love of Mike, cut it out, you two. Phillips, see what you did? You made the pivot man lose all his nerve. Yeah, and I'm going to make you lose a couple of teeth. He wouldn't miss him. He never smiled. Not only smart, but tough, huh? Well... Uh, look, Lee, uh, maybe you better go now. We're almost ready to start. Sure, go ahead, Phillips. I'll stick around and keep Dugan company. Maybe I'll hold his hand and tell him a little story about pixies. Maybe I'll even rock him to sleep by singing to him. Maybe that's what he needs. Listen, Ray. Maybe I'll get demerits for this, but it's worth it. Hey! Oh, why, you... I'll give you another hey, one, too. Hey, you can count me in on this hey, fight, too. Hey, 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 watch it. You're still my horse. Come on, Come on. Cut it out. Stop it. Hey, whoa, boy, whoa. Settle down. Easy, easy. Now, Phillips. Morrison, young. Yes, sir. What's this all about? Sir, Phillips hit me for no reason at all. You're lying. I had plenty of reason. I hit him, too. I had reason enough. Why, you... Now, cut it out. I haven't had time now to go into the reasons for such a stupid thing as this. But all three of you were fighting. That's enough cause for the present for me to send you all back to your rooms. To our rooms, sir? Oh, gee. You heard me. All three of you get back to your rooms and stay there. And don't stir out of them until I tell you to. But, sir, if we go back to our rooms, we'll miss the whole meet. We won't see anything. That's too bad. Considering that you almost ruined it for us, it's light enough punishment for the moment. Now, all three of you, I said get going. But, sir... Please, we... Sergeant Alden. Jurgen, you're at attention. Yes, sir. But, sir, we can explain the whole thing. It was no fault of mine, sir. I had to defend myself. Is that so? Well, I... Stop it! You have to be told again to get to your rooms. Now, one more word out of any one of the three of you, and, and you'll have more to be sorry for than just missing the meat. Now, get out of here and go back to your rooms. I said a double quick time. Yes, sir. Come on, Tubby. Yes, sir. I can explain, sir. I don't want or need an explanation, Morrison. And I said, don't open your mouth again. Now, get going. Yes, sir. Oh, gee, everything has to happen now. Jerry. Yes, sir? Forget about this. Get your, your mount settled down. There isn't much time left. Very good, sir. Whoa, boy. Settle down. Easy. Uh, feel better? Yes, sir. He'll be all right. Okay. Steady on now. Hey, Jerry, I won't be able to see you, but, well, good luck, fella. Thanks, Lee. All right. Back to your stations, men. And remember, that's it, men. Whoop! Hey!